E's perpetual hatred towards Jacob. Young teenage white girls assault homeless black people. I want to give all the honor, glory, and praises unto Yahweh, by Hashem, Yahweh Shai, by Hashem, Rabbi HaKodash, double honors to the elders at Great Millstone who rule well, single honors to the elect. Peace and blessings be to all the sense of men, women, and children that do consist of the one third. Peace and blessings to the confusion of faces in the four corners of the earth. Shalom, shalom. Article from Independent. Teenage girls arrested on tip from their mothers after video shows them attacking homeless people. And I'm going to bring out biblical precepts, but I want you to understand that the so-called white man, woman, and child go back to Jacob's brother, who is Esau in the Bible. And also you can do your research. Herod, um, who the Herodian dynasty was during the time that the Messiah, the disciples, was on the scene. It also mentions him being an Edomite. And people today will clearly say that the Greco-Roman Empire was, you know, ran by who? So-called white people, right? So Edomites, Esau would be so-called white men, woman, and child today. And the reason I'm bringing it up because it goes back to that hatred that Esau had for Jacob when Jacob received the blessing. He didn't steal the blessing. And today in modern church, they are lying and say he stole the blessing. No, he gave, Jacob received the blessing by giving Esau Lentils and raw meat. Okay, read Hebrews 12 and 16. But that's another story. But this example goes to show you how they act towards us. Because I even even me, you know, I know people in the hood I grew up with. They'll give a poor white person, you know, give them money and shit like that. You know what I'm saying? Jake, Jake be quick to love their oppressors, right? You know, Stockholm Syndrome. But this act right here is really senseless because, you know, what sense does it have? Well, it goes back to the biblical um, prophecy, you know, of Esau hating Jacob, right? And this is Amos 1 and 11. Thus saith the Lord, for three transgressions of Edom and for four, I will not turn away the punishment thereof. Because he did pursue his brother with the sword, who's Esau's brother, who's Edom's brother, Jacob. Esau and Edom are interchangeable. Like Jacob and Esau, like Jacob and Israel are interchangeable. Because he did pursue his brother with the sword and did cast off all pity, and his anger did tear perpetually, and he kept his wrath forever. So from the time uh, of the Greco Roman Empire, when did a great slaughter to us, because the so called Negro Latinos and Native Americans, we are the Hebrew Israelites. There's no if and what's about it. Secular history proves that, and we are the only people on earth that literally fit the um the biblical curses in Deuteronomy the twenty eighth chapter, and also um Isaiah the third chapter on why the so called black woman can't grow her hair all long. All that are curses, cause what's the man's glory? His woman, and our woman today do not honor us. And what's the woman's glory? Her hair, and our woman today they don't have it. Let's read on. So, I'm going to um, segue over until this article, this same article, but I, I, I highlighted some things in the article in the, um, in, the, in the app. Okay, so pay attention here, please. Now, um, as you can see, I made some highlights here. And any highlights, you see, pardon me. So it says the Auburn police in Maine said on Sunday that it had charged two girls aged 14 and 16 as well as a 15 year old boy who allegedly filmed the incident who was charged with criminal conspiracy. Now, now what if you read the article, which I'm going to leave the, um, the link of the article in the description box, um, they uploaded this to Facebook, if I'm not mistaken, and their own mothers. Their parents saw this and reported it to the police, man. But this is just what's embedded inside of them, period, man. And I'm going to show you why. It's really the hatred that Esau has for Jacob. Continuing reading on, a, a video circulating on Facebook seen by the Independent showed two young women repeatedly kicking and punching a person sitting on the street 
who screams while a man sitting next to them pleads with the girls to stop. Pay attention to where the green arrow's at. A voice, possibly from the person filming the video, is heard saying, Kit this nigger too. Leading one of the girls to round on the man and attack him as well. You see, the reason why I brought this out because they're young. They're teenagers. So, they were born in the 2000s, right? What it would make them like Generation Z? You know? Um, when you think about that word nigger, and you hear the word white, like black and white and all that, we're talking about going back to 1492, centuries ago. But it's a negative connotation, right? Because when we came here on a, on a slave sh on a slave ships, right? The um the Englishmen, they would say that we were nigger, nigger, not nigger, nigger. But the Southern slave owners couldn't pronounce it the way they did, so they just start calling us nigger. Nigger. Now I'm gonna pull a I'm gonna pull a gold nugget out of the Bible really quick. Bear with me. Now pay attention. Pay attention to what I'm gonna read to you right now. This is in the Bible. The Bible. This is Acts 13 and 1. Now there were in the church that was at Antioch certain prophets and teachers, as Barnabas and Simeon, that was called Neger. Neger, you can you can go to the concordance, you can look in the blue letter um, Bible, and when you go into that concordance, that Strong's, it means a dark person, a dark man, or a, or in layman terms, a black man. So I'm read again. Now there were in the church that was at Antioch certain prophets and teachers, as Barnabas and Simeon, that was called Neger, and Lucius of Cyrene and Manaen, which had been brought up with. Hera the Tetrarch and Saul. Remember, remember I mentioned Hera earlier, the Heronian dynasty. So these prophets and teachers, who, I mean, who do you think the, who do you think the disciples were? The apostles, the prophets. They were all dark skinned men. Right? <laughs> what do you think? There's a perpetual hatred on us from the so called white man, woman and child. And if, I, and if I was to ever go up to them and ask them, why do you hate us so much? They couldn't really give you an answer because it's something that's spiritual. Right? Jake, homeless, on the corner. They're getting beaten up by these teenage Edomite children. But what do you think they get their language from? What do you think that's taught to them from? Right? It's taught to them from their peers. From their, from their, um... Their, their, their relatives, right? Stories they heard from their uncles, their grandfathers and grandmothers and aunts and so forth, right? And I heard a small hat, you know, a so-called J that lives in in the land of Israel, right? He said, I'm so sorry for what my people have done to your people. I really am. If there's anything that I could do as a Jew to help your people or to make this right what could i do and one comedian said yeah this is what you can do tell us what y'all discuss at y'all dinner table <laughs> come on man anyhow i'm going to bring out some precepts and i'm gonna close out i don't want to make this long but i had to get my point across so um going back to the um bring out just bring out some precepts y'all you know um, this is Psalms 58 and 2. Yea, in heart ye work wickedness. Ye weigh the violence of your hands in the earth. And it reminds me of Habakkuk 2 and 5 because everywhere, everywhere this man goes, you know, um, he's nothing but death and destruction. And the way that this America was built was off of rape, rob, and murder. And the Lord said, um, Defile not the land they ran, because blood defiled up the land, and the land cannot be cleansed except by the blood of him that shed it. That's what Numbers 35 and 33. Well, America was not built off of fair trade, people. Right? So how else can this land be cleansed? But by except by the blood of him that shed it. Read Revelation 13, 9 and 10. Isaiah 10 and 2. To turn aside the needy. 
the needy from judgment and to take away the right from the poor of my people. Come on, man. Kicking homeless people and then calling them niggers, right? <laughs> I mean, and, and, and let's not act like it like that's not happening or relevant today. Go on Xbox Live. Go on the PlayStation Network uh, when, they, when they're playing video games. Man, they be talking cash shit all over the airways, man. What happened when LeBron James moved to um L.A. to go play? Didn't they spray paint nigger all over his um, garage door? This LeBron damn near finna be <laughs> like a billionaire, man. And they still look at him as a nigger. Right? Kanye West said the best in that song. I think it's called All Falls Down. All Falls Down. Even though you in the bins, you still a nigger in the coop. Remember that. Okay? Um, but there's going to be judgment for this. And now I'm not saying in a court of law here by the spirit of Yahweh, by Hashem, I was shot. I'm going to read these last couple of precepts and I'm going to close out. This is 2 Maccabees, the 7th chapter, the 31st verse. This is in the Apocrypha, which is a part of the 1611 King James Version Bible, which has been appointed by King James himself to be read in all churches. And I'm going to read out of it. And thou... That has been the author of all mischief against the Hebrews, the Israelites, shall not escape the hands of God. For we suffer because of our sins. That's the only reason we have we went to slavery. The only reason why we're the last and you're the first. The only reason why we're Proverbs and Bibles. The only reason why we have broken homes, why our women are above us, why our women are are, are, are heartless, why our men are degenerates. They're like bulls in the nets on the street corner. The only reason why we just we, we look the way we do today, because of the curses. Verse 33, and though the living Lord be angry with us a little while for our chastening and correction. So technically what's happening to these homeless people is supposed to happen because we're under curses. But remember, though, right? Yet shall he be at one again with his servants. The Lord's going to uplift them. The Lord's going to uplift them. But thou, O godless man, or should I say daughters right, in this one? Women and of all other most wicked, be not lifted up without a cause, nor puffed up with uncertain hopes, lifting up thy hand against the service of God. <sighs> and for thou hast not yet escaped the judgment of Almighty God, who seeth all things. <laughs> so, when you say slavery is over and get over it, the Lord said He required that which is past. Enjoy your last days here in America. So with that being said, I pray you was edified and fed. Stay in the spirit. Don't fear it. Just endure it. Ask for forgiveness. Pray without ceasing. Stay humble. Remain diligent. Kwame Allah. Waffle of a ball. Shalom.